Okay, I got my guide scope built. And we got my camera, the dew heater, guide scope. I've got a USB camera, a 50 millimeter, 183 millimeter focal length lens. I've got everything connected to the computer. So I'm gonna set home. So let's home. Now let's find something to point it to. I'm point it to I want to make sure that it's something that well let's go to Polaris first. Alright, ready? I'm gonna click slew. figured out a way to speed it up. That's Polaris. We can go and we'll set it back home. Go back to its home position. And then we'll pick another we'll try the California Nebula. It's because that one's gonna be very far off and I wanna make sure Yeah, that one might hit. If it does, I might have to unplug it. That is okay. So that is a drawback because it doesn't know where the guide scope is. So the guide scope will hit this ring if I'm looking at anything that's below 32 degrees. So, but this is 36 degrees. There. So. That's the only thing. It's a combination of both of these points it below this ring. I don't have a problem. That is the only drawback I've found so far. Seems to be, I don't know if it's accurate. I haven't actually used it yet, but it appears to be. And I built these feet for it that are actually ball and socket. So this spins in this so that I can up and move it up and down without moving the feet. And they have rubber uh, pads underneath. So it's really solid. So hopefully take those, any vibrations that it might show up out of it. And I also do have it working with Stellarium but I don't really like it because uh, I can't, so far I haven't found a way to home it. So I have to open this software up to home it, and then I can go into Solarium and you, you know it shows you the stars. So I can just pick on a star and it'll point to it. Um, I do like that because I can tell if it's gonna be, you know, it's, if, if it's straight up or where the guide scope doesn't hit this ring, I can tell from Stellarium if that's going to happen and if it's a safe star to point at. Because now I've got to reset it, rehome it, and everything else. But anyway, that's where I'm at. It's my new project.